my chef friend in Ensenada, Benito Molina, he makes this mussel dish with his local mussels that he calls mussels with six chilies. So that got me thinking a little bit, and here's my version of it. The first thing that you have to do is make this kind of homemade chili powder. And six chilies, well, chilies each offer something different to the mix. So I've got a whole variety of dried chilies out here, and I'm gonna combine ancho chili. That's the one that's sort of that light cranberry colored one. Uh, this is the long black pasilla chili. It's a more robust flavor, deep, dark, rich. The guajillo chili, well, that's one that's bold and bright tangy flavored. We've got some chipotle chili here. I'll put about three of those guys in here. And then arbol chili, the workhorse of the Mexican kitchen. So all the chilies that are large need to be cleaned of their seeds and their stems. Open those out like that. Let the seeds fall out. Now with the small chilies, you just take the stems off if they have stems. I'm gonna combine all of them onto a baking dish. And we're going to put them into a 325 degree oven and toast them until they're almost crisp feeling. That should take about 10 minutes. You want to break them into smallish pieces so that you can make your own chili powder. But this is going to be very different than chili powder you would buy at the grocery store. It's not going to have the salt, sugar, and all the spices, including that huge dash of cumin that you find in all chili powder. Okay, so I've got my spice grinder here. You can do this in one of the high-speed blenders as well. And I'm gonna fill that about two thirds, three quarters full with a batch of the mixed chilies and then start pulverizing. So I'll put those into a little sealable container there and do the other half. stuff is so amazing. It's more complex and more vibrant than any chili powder you'll ever find anywhere. Okay, now on to the mussel part of this dish. The first thing that you have to do is to clean the mussels. They usually will come in a bag, a mesh bag, not in a closed plastic bag. That'll actually kill the mussels. And now on to the cleaning. You wanna to look to see if there's any beards on them. That's where they attached to whatever rope-like substance that they were growing on. And then use a vegetable brush. Give them a good scrub until all of them have been scrubbed. Now for the flavorings for the mussel dish, I'm gonna start with a little bit of chorizo. One of my favorite combinations when it comes to seafood is shellfish and chorizo. And I need about four ounces of it here. And then I'm gonna put that into a pot, break that up and cook that until it's completely done through. That'll take about eight or 10 minutes. The chorizo is starting to brown now. I'm gonna add a couple of cloves of garlic. So, peeling by mashing and then finely chopping. And that's gonna go in with the chorizo. About two thirds of a cup of dry white wine. Some of the chili powder. Now, this will take some experience on your part as to how much exactly you want to put in. Stir all that together. Then the 
mussels. That really aromatic and flavorful cooking liquid there. Now put the lid on and it'll only take about three minutes or so for those mussels to open up. So check them after a couple to see how they're coming along. I'm cutting thick slices of sourdough bread, drizzling it with some olive oil, sprinkling on some salt, and then grilling it to serve alongside those mussels to sop up all the delicious juices. I think these guys are done, but we have a couple of things to add to them. Ah, look at that. Sprinkle a little bit of salt over the whole dish. I'm going to enrich it with a couple of tablespoons of butter. And then I'm going to add as final garnish, you could use just a little bit more chili, as far as I can tell. I'm gonna sprinkle that over the top of it. And then stir everything around with a large spoon until that butter melts. And everything's coated with the chorizo broth. A lovely sprinkling of chopped fresh cilantro over the whole thing, and you've got a muscle feast.